today's question is 5 raised to the power of 7 minus 5 raised to the power of 4 that is equal to 3 raised to the power of x. Here we need to find x value. Let's see how to solve it. Here 5 raised to the power of 7 we can write in terms of 4 that is 4 plus 3 isn't it. So now 5 raised to the power of 4 plus 3 it is in the form of a raised to the power of m plus n. We can write this as a raised to the power of m times a raised to the power of m. We know this. We can write this as 5 raised to the power of 4 times 5 raised to the power of 3 minus 5 raised to the power of 4. In the left hand side the two terms we have a 5 raised to the power of 4 as common. So let's take it as 5 raised to the power of 4 as common. Then we left 5 raised to the power of 3 minus 1. And we know that 5 raised to the power of 3 the value is 125. So here 125 minus 1 which gives 124. So just now I said 5 raised to the power of 3 the value is 125. Here we need to find 5 raised to the power of 4 value that means you need to multiply both sides by 5 then you will get 5 raised to the power of 4 value. So 125 times 5 which is 625. So here 625 so that means here we have 124 times 625 that is equal to 3 raised to the power of x. Now I am going to show you a, a smart trick how to multiply by 625. So before start with the 625 let us start with the simple number which is 25. Now I show you how to multiply a 3 digit number by 25, 125 and 625. So let us first take 25. Suppose if we have a number 235, if you want to multiply by 25, you no need to multiply here. This 25 if you write in terms of 5 that is 5 raised to the power of 2, isn't it? So here we have a power 2, so that is why our first step is you just write two zeros on the right hand side of this 235 number. So after that the second step is you have 2 divided by 2 raised to the power of here we have a 2 so that's why in the power we had write 2. So that means this 235 2 zeros divided by 4. So instead of doing multiply by 25 we can simply do division by 4 isn't it see 4 times 5 is 20 the remainder is 3 so then 35 so 4 times 8 is 32 the remainder is 3 then 4 times 7 is 28 so the remainder is 2 so then 4 times 5 is 20 so 235 times 25 which use 5875 so without doing any multiplication simply we can write the answer now let's see how to multiply by 125 let's take one more number 385 multiply by 125 125 is 5 raised to the power of 3. So in the exponent we have a number 3. So here what we have to after this number you need to write here number 3 that's why you need to write 3 zeros and do divided by 2 raised to the power of we have 3 number that's why write in the exponent 3. That's it. So 2 raised to the power of 3 that which is 8. So just write 8. See 8 4s are 32 and remainder 6. 8 8s are 64 the remainder is 1. 8 1s are 8 the remainder is 2. 8 2s are 16 the remainder is 4. Then 8 5s are 40. So 48,125 is the answer. Same like that. Now I am going to show with the 625. So let us take one more number. 962 times 625. 625 is nothing but 5 raised to the power of 4. So that means after this number which is 962 after this you need to add 4 zeros and do divided by 2 raised to the power of 4. 2 raised to the power of 4 is nothing but 16. So let us do with, with 16. We know that 16 times 6 is 96 completely done. So that is why we need to add 1 0 because now we are considering as 2 digits at once. So now 16 times 1 is 16 the remainder is 4. Then 16 times 2 is 32, the remainder is 8. Then 16 times 5 is 80 and this 0 you just write on the top. The answer is 601250 that is 601,250. This is the our trick. Now come to our point. What we have? We have 124 times 625. 625 is nothing but 5 raised to the power of 4. So what we have to do here? You just write 4 zeros on the right hand side and do divided by 2 raised to the power of 4. 
2 raised to the power of 4 is nothing but 16. You have to write just 16. 16 times 6 is 96. Then 16 times 7 is 112. So let's start with the 7 number. 112. So 124, if you subtract 112, then you will get only 12. So the remainder is 12. So let's take, combine with the next number 0. So again, you have to take 16 times 7, so which is 112. Then the remainder is 8. So now 16 times 5 is 80. We are done. So the remaining two zeros, you just write it here. The result is 77,500. So let's write that. 77,500 that is equal to 124 times 625 the result is 77,500 that is equal to 3 raised to the power of x 3 raised to the power of x so now our x in the exponent so you have to take log on both sides to simplify the x so if you take log on both sides then ln of 77,500 that is equal to ln of 3 raised to the power of x in the right hand side it is in the form of ln of a raised to power of m. We can write this as m times ln a. So we can write this as x times ln 3. From here we can find the x value. So x equal to ln of 77,500 divided by ln 3. If you want to stop here you can stop it. Otherwise you can find this ln 77,500 value and ln 3 value then you can divide it. Let's see how to do that. To find the numerator value we need to see the prime factors of this number. First I'm going to do by 5. So 77,500 I can going to write this as 5 raised to the power of 4 times 2 raised to the power of 2 times 31. That is our numerator over denominator is ln 3. The numerator it is in the form of ln of a, b, c the product form. If you have a product form we can write this as in summation addition form that is ln a plus ln b plus ln c so same like that we can write this as ln 5 raised to the power of 4 plus ln 2 raised to the power of 2 plus ln 31 now each and every term it is in the form of ln a raised to the power of m we can write this as m times ln a so same like that we can write this as 4 times ln 4 and here also we can write as 2 times ln 2 and here plus l ln 31 divided by ln 3 now substitute natural log values in my previous video i explained how to find the log values and natural log values if you have missed that video i would highly recommend you watch that video to remember the natural and log values from 1 to 10 so then 4 times ln 5 the natural log of 5 the value is 1.609 plus 2 times ln 2 the value is 0.693 plus ln 31 the value is 3.46 divided by ln 3 the value is 1.09 after multiplying and, and doing addition the numerator will become 11.282 divided by 1.098 here 1.098 is nothing but 1.1 do division of this 11,282 if you do divided by 11 then you will be, first you will do by 1 times then you have to take the 2 digits this way I am going to add 1 0 then 11 times 2 is 22 the remainder is 6 so now I am do with the 5 11 times 5 is 55 then the right hand side we don't have any number so let's add decimal point then 6 3 1 0 2 5 point 6 3 still you have divided by 100 so let's do divided by 100 then you will get 10.2563 that is our x value.